Hey everybody, uh, Taryn here, live from the Girls Inc. studio in Las Vegas, and I wanted to do a uh, tutorial. I've got a couple of the tutorials up here on a couple of the machines, like the Bishop V6 and the Valor, and um, I wanted to do a tutorial on a couple of the machines that I totally dig, I think are super high quality, super smooth, fantastic little machines and I wanted to share them with you. I've been using both of them uh, for over a year now and I love them. So I'm going to switch cameras and take you a little bit closer so I can uh, show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are. I have got here um, the Bishop Magi and the Bishop Phantom, both made by Bishop, who also makes the V6 and a couple other machines. Very respected, well known machine maker in body tattooing, and uh, a lot of us that do permanent makeup are using Bishop machines because they're so awesome. So, um, Let's go over them. So this is the Phantom, and this is the Magi right here. So they're shaped a little bit different. This has a little bit uh, more of an L-shaped, and this is more linear. Uh, they both are super light, two of the lightest machines, I think, in the industry. Um, the Phantom weighs in at 1.7 ounces and the Magi at 1.8 ounces. So when you have them in your hand, you really can't feel that little bit of weight difference. 1.7 ounces, 1.8. So almost the same weight, super light, which is fantastic and probably a necessity for anybody that has uh, hand issues, wrist issues, uh, weak wrists, anything like that. If you have any health issues with your hands, your wrists, your thumbs, anything like that, then you're probably an artist that needs to be in a light machine. So uh, you may want to consider these two. Super, super light, like I said. And they both have a 3.5 stroke setting, which is right where you want to be if you're doing permanent makeup. 2.5, 3.5. Those are the two stroke settings we should be using when we're uh, doing permanent makeup, tattooing the face. So perfect stroke setting for what we do. And they both have um, like a Maxon motor. You know, actually the Phantom has a custom made medical grade motor in it. The Bishop Magi has a Maxon motor. So. Uh, great components, great quality. The Phantom comes in at $479 and the Magi comes in at $469. So just a $10 difference between the two. They both come in just under $500, which is a great price point for such uh, high quality uh, machines. So let's go over them a little bit. Now, like I said, they're very, very similar. Weight is very similar. Quality is excellent on both of them. $10 difference between the two. So what's the difference? I've been tattooing with them both, like I said, for over a year. And there is a little bit of a difference when you actually start using them. They feel a little bit different in your hand. It's hard to explain. But uh, once you tattoo a little bit with the Phantom and then you start working with the Magi, they're, they're very, very similar but you do feel a little bit of a difference in, in your hand, the, the way they sit in your hand, and that very well may have to do with the shape and, and, the, uh, and the weight balance of e each machine. So you will feel a little bit of a difference between the two, but um, can't go wrong with either one of them. So when you get each one of them, they come in a box and they look just like they look here, okay? They're both cartridge machines. They take disposable grips and the cartridge system. So this is exactly what they look like when you open them out of the box. The Magi comes with a little packet here 
with a couple of uh, plungers and uh, a little um, Allen wrench here. The Magi, same thing, comes in a little box with a little packet here with uh, plungers and a little Allen wrench and actually a little uh, screw here that you can see uh, in the bag. Gives you, they actually give you an extra screw uh, in case you lose one. Now when you look at the two plungers you can see one's a little shorter and one's a little longer. So we're always going to use the shorter one unless you're using the Cheyenne click system. If you're using the Cheyenne system then you're going to want to install the longer plunger. But for every other cartridge, DaVinci, Tassel, Peak, all these other cartridges, you're going to install the short plunger. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the plunger on the Phantom first. So uh, you take your little Allen wrench, and if you look closely, uh, let's see if I can get this closer to the camera, there's a little uh, screw right there. And you just put in your Allen wrench, and you unscrew it, like so. There's your little screw, set that down, and the machine comes off. The top of the machine comes off. So then you can see the, the, the inside of your, your machine right there, okay? So that's your little stroke setting table right there. So then, like I, I, I mentioned before, I do not use uh, Cheyenne uh, cartridges, so I am going to use the shorter plunger. With the, met, with the Phantom, your plunger already has the screw attached. As, as you can see up in there, the screw, the threading, is already attached. Whereas on the Magi, the screw is not already attached to the plunger. The screws are separate. So screw threading already attached to your plunger. So if you look right here real close, let me see if I can get that real close. There's a little opening right here on your little stroke disc. And all you do is take your plunger, I hope you guys can see this, you take your plunger and you put it in that little opening like so. Oh, let me hold that tight. There you go and you just screw it in and just give it a little turn like that make it in nice and secure it is that's perfect then you take the top of your machine and you can see can you see what I'm doing you're gonna put that bar right through there place that right on top it fits perfect you'll flip it over you take that little screw we removed earlier and you just put it back in, like so. Give it a little tight. You don't want to over tight, tighten, but make sure it's nice and secure. And then now your Phantom is set up and ready to go, okay? We'll put this back in the packet. Always keep that just in case you need it. Um, and once that's installed, that's pretty much permanently installed. You won't you don't have to take this in and out every time you do a procedure. That's in there. And that's going to stay in there a good long time. If you ever need to replace your plunger, they're extremely inexpensive. They're easily replaced and they're very inexpensive. But I've had my Phantom and been using it regularly for just over a year and I've never had to replace my plunger. Not yet. So that's that one. The Magi is very very similar very similar again you get two plungers one's a little shorter one's a little bit longer I personally use I, I do not use Cheyenne uh, systems and, and cartridges so I'm going to choose the shorter cartridge very similar to the Phantom just a little 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 bit different so what we're going to do is you're going to take your plunger and you're going to put it through right here right can you see that put it through right here and there's a little opening let me see if I can get a little bit closer you're gonna put it through here once you get it through there there's a little opening right there on your stroke disc and you put it in there all the way and 
I hold it like this. I hold it like this to make sure that the plunger is all the way back. So this finger is making sure that the plunger is pushed all the way back to the stroke disc as far as it can be. I'll take my little screw, which I which is already um, attached to my little Allen wrench. Let me see, make sure you can see it, right? And uh, they give you an extra one. And then right on top of the disc right here is where you go ahead and you put your screw. So you just put that screw in there like so and give it a turn and turn that all the way down and make sure it's tight but not too tight don't over tighten it's never good to over tighten uh, anything and there you go they're all set up ready to go it's super duper easy now if you're watching this and you're thinking oh my gosh I don't know if I can put in that plunger because you know there are some people out there and if you're one of them no judgment but some people just are not very mechanically inclined or when it comes to having to screw anything in they get super nervous they're just not good at little things like this and if that is you well that's what people like me come in handy for girls Inc we stock and sell these on the store if you uh, purchase through us and you just don't want the hassle of installing your plungers, we can do that for you. I'm just going to ask you to send me an email and let me know that you want me to open up your new box, your new machine, and install your plunger for you. We'll put it right back in the box and ship it out to you already installed. Or you could just do it yourself. You can always refer right back to this tutorial and uh, watch it and go ahead and do it yourself. Uh, whatever makes you comfortable. So as I said earlier, these are both um, cartridge machines. They are not direct insert, meaning the cartridge, of course, is not insert directly into the machine, uh, like the Zion or you know the Bell are. We use these machines to take disposable grips. So I like the the Phantom disposable cartridge grips. I think they're uh, some of the best grips out there on the market. They're really soft. Uh, and they've got these little uh, grooves in here so your fingers fit in there really really good so there's no slipping I love these little grooves that they put in I don't know if you can see there you go you can see them see those little grooves right there and then if you look at the opening it's got a great opening and this takes all cartridges it takes uh, you know j just about every single cartridge needle on the market today and they're priced really good. You can go on the Girls Inc. store and check out the pricing, but priced really good. I think they're about a dollar fifty each, but super high quality. This is never going to twist on you or turn on you. They're just made super good. So I love the um, the Phantom disposable cartridge grips. So the way is you set up this machine, you just open up your little chamber here, loosen it up. You'll put in your cartridge grip just so. Tighten it up and insert your needle click and turn and there you go that is all set up and ready to go we'll turn it on in just a minute let's do the uh, phantom same thing just open up your chamber a little bit insert your uh, cartridge disposable grip tighten this back tighten your chamber back up this is your little chamber that loosens so you can get your uh, uh, grip in and out. So tighten that back up and your needle just inserts, clicks and turns. Very easy. Now, when you're working, when you're setting up your machine, you always want to make sure that the opening on the cartridge is up top. If you set it up and it looks like this, you're tattooing, doing your procedures like that, that is wrong. This is called the ink reservoir, and that is always facing up. So when you're working, that opening is always facing up, okay? That's how you make sure that you're working properly. So let's go ahead and rev these babies up. So you can see or hear the sound. I've got my little um, critical 
pink atom here. Uh, this is the critical pink atom X and if you notice the color, right? Girls ink pink. That's right, baby. Girls ink pink. Uh, I, the owner of uh, Tat Soul uh, did this for me, so I want to give a big shout out to Tat Soul. Uh, I've been a big fan, supporter, distributor for Tat Soul for about seven or eight years, and um, I told them I, I, I want a critical done in Girls Ink Pink. Can you do that for me? And they did. So I'm super excited about the little critical Atom X uh, in pink. And as you can see, it has a digital readout, and I think that's very important. I would encourage uh, all of you, especially newbies, to when you're buying your little power boxes, make sure they have a digital readout. You can purchase, Critical also makes uh, a box called the Atom. This is the Atom X, but you can also get one just called the Atom. The difference is the Atom, it is a little bit cheaper, but it does not have the digital readout. And I think that can be dangerous for some people. I think it's very important, like I said, especially if you're new, that you always know exactly what number you're running at, right? It's very, very important to know that. And you write that down in your chart notes. Um, I'm a Virgo, I'm very particular. I wanna know exactly what number I am running at. I think that's very important. So, let's start her up. I always wanna make sure my needle's floating out a good amount. Let's tighten that up. If it's loose, it's gonna be a little bit uh, louder, but there you go, and it's very light, so it's got a little bit of noise, but not too bad at all, and it just tattoos really good. It's super smooth, super, super light. If you do um, whip shading, you know, we, we kind of uh, move the machine with our finger. Because it's so light, it's a fantastic machine. Uh, for that whip shading pendulum movement. I do a lot of circles and pointillism uh, and it's fantastic for that. It's very versatile. I do eyeliners, lips, areolas, removals, uh, everything with this little Magi and, and the Phantom as well. And it's just, uh, like I said, it's, it's just a, a versatile and wonderful, smooth little machine. It's excellent. Okay, now let's go ahead and rev up the Phantom. I'll set that right there. And there you go. So you can hear this. This, this one might be a little bit more quiet. A little bit more quiet. But don't let noise bother you guys. You should never ever let uh, noise deter you from buying a machine that's going to be perfect for your hand uh, and the way you work, okay? Uh, they're really not that n loud on the grand scheme of things, not at all. But uh, this is the Phantom. And again, it's extremely light, 1.7 ounces, and uh, excellent for whip shading. And I'll, I'll tell you, uh, Mary Richardson, I spent a lot of time with Mary Richardson, and she is world famous for her hair strokes. And she was on you know, a, a digital machine for about eight or nine years and never thought she'd find another machine that she liked as well for her hair strokes. And uh, she came out, we were doing a class together and she started, she actually did her model uh, using the Magi and the Phantom. For a couple of days, she was using both uh, machines and she just couldn't believe it because of the precision. The precision with these machi machines is on point. They are extremely precise and they are very lightweight. You have a lot of control with them and for that reason they are excellent for hair strokes and excellent for the bigger needles and circular movements as well. So it's an all around very versatile excellent machine. Okay, and then again, we'll just rev up this uh, Magi a little bit so you can hear that. Turn it down a little bit. There you go. 
And like I said, now if you're, now I don't know if you can see my needle. Let's get it up here close so you can see it. I don't know if you can see that running or not. I'm not sure if the camera will catch that. But I, I like my needle out about three millimeters. About the, the thickness of a nickel is how I like my needle to stick out. I'm not inserting my needle into skin the thickness of a nickel. Not at all. But how far I like my needle to float out, stick out, while I'm working is about three millimeters, about the, the width of a nickel. So the way you adjust that is just, just uh, loosen up your chamber a little bit and you just wiggle this and adjust it. So if you want your needle to come in a little bit, then you wiggle this out. If you want your needle to stick out a little bit more, you wiggle it back towards you. So that's how you adjust your needle float. Okay, there you go. So two excellent machines. Uh, they both uh, run off all the critical power boxes, uh, most power boxes uh, that are used uh, for uh, tattoo machines or rotaries are gonna run really fine with um, the Phantom of the Magi. The foot pedals, they both take an RCA cord. Actually, when you purchase the Phantom, you get a free RCA cord with the Phantom. A free cord does not come with uh, the Magi, but a free cord does come with the Phantom. Now, for all of you out there watching this tutorial, what I will do for you, if you want the Magi, and you order the Magi, mention Taryn's YouTube tutorial, and I'll give you a free hot pink awesome RCA cord. Okay, I wish I had one. Oh, I do have one here to show you. Hang on one second. All right, so right here. These are right here. These are the cords that I had made and uh, built fantastic great capacitors on those ends. It's silicone. They don't tangle real easy at all. They're fantastic. So um, I will give you a free cord. Let's go back to the other camera angle. There we are. Um, so here's that cord I was telling you about. And it's uh, super long and it doesn't tangle easy and it's just built really, really well. I love it. Um, so, if you uh, want to order the Magi, then what I'm going to do, like I said, when you order, please in your notes or send us an email that you saw this tutorial and you want your free pink RCA cord with the Magi only. When you order the Phantom from us, uh, Bishop already included that in your box, so you will get a free um, cord with actually this is it right here this is the cord Bishop gives you with um, the Phantom so it's a great cord as well okay and we carry also these this um, little pink atom on our store excellent excellent power box Crit critical makes the best power boxes anyway in my opinion so there you go um, the Phantom and the Magi both great machines, super high quality. And like I said, they're very, very versatile. And if you're an artist that, like I mentioned earlier, if you have issues with your hand, carpal tunnel, um, a weak wrist, uh, that you know, we tattoo for a long time, sometimes the tendons in our thumb can start to ache and bother us. Or if you're just sensitive to weight. If you're somebody that is currently using a digital device and you're used to that a thin lightweight handpiece then you might want to consider one of these two machines because they are so dang light and they just it almost feels like you're you're doing your procedures uh, with your hand because they're that light uh, again they take disposable grips and the cartridge system they come with a one-year warranty so uh, you're safe and protected there and um, 
And when you order through Girls Inc., you know, well, you kind of get us as part of the package. Uh, we will help you and support you every step of the way and make sure that you understand your machine and you learn it really well and we're here to answer your questions or send you any tutorials or anything, anything at all that you might need for us. That's the kind of support we give here at Girls Inc. So I think that wraps everything up. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I've got more coming. So uh, if you're not already um, following me on YouTube, please do. Uh, also, Instagram at Tat Girls Inc. That's my personal Instagram or the studio and follow all of us artists at Girls Inc. Studio on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.